Hey fit friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of RenewalFitCoach.com and in this video, I'm gonna share with you what happened when I did planks, push-ups, and pull-ups for 30 days straight. Instagram, you'll remember that at the beginning of January, I posted that my husband and I had decided to do this triple P challenge that we came up with. Just a fun challenge for us to do that would build our strength, help us get better at some of the most basic, important exercises, and help us to improve our swimming because we compete in triathlons. The goal of this challenge was to do push-ups, pull-ups, and planks for the entire month of January. So 30 days, we would do these exercises every single day with the goal of increasing how many we were capable of. So with the way we structured it was we started with a baseline number and then we doubled that number. So that was how many we had to do per day. For instance, my baseline for pull-ups, typically I can do about four pull-ups at a time, maybe five on a good day. So my goal was eight. Every single day I had to do eight pull-ups. Same thing for push-ups, I can normally do 15 push-ups so my goal was to do 30 per day. And I didn't really have any expectations for this necessarily. It was just, you know, why not do a fun challenge to try and get better? But what I got out of it and how much I improved really surprised me. So before I explain all the results, I'm gonna explain how things went for me, what each day looked like. So our rules to this were that all of the exercises had to be done at the same time. So you couldn't do like your planks earlier in the day and then do a couple pull-ups and then later in the day come back and finish your pull-ups and then do a few push-ups throughout the day. It was everything had to be done at one time. It could, you know, it could take as long as you wanted to get it done, but it was supposed to be done in one session. So I varied the routine every day. I didn't necessarily always do planks and then pull-ups and then push-ups. I changed it each day just depending on how I was feeling. There was no specific order, but what we did find within a few days with the th was that the smartest way to do it was to start with our planks because those are really tiring on your shoulders and arms. So we got those out of the way first so that they wouldn't be so hard at the end. So typically I always did my planks first, then I would move on to either push-ups or pull-ups, but I changed those throughout the month. We also found that we really kind of needed some breaks for our bodies during this process. So I probably ended up taking about four or five days off where I just didn't do any of these exercises. In addition to these, we also lift weights on a regular basis. We cycle, we run, we swim. So we're already doing a lot to our bodies. So there was just some days where it felt like it would just almost be stupid to keep doing it like our bodies truly needed rest i felt like if i didn't get rest some days i wasn't going to progress any further just because my muscles felt so tired we also definitely faced some challenges during this time like i mentioned our bodies just felt run down some days so that was really tough other days i didn't necessarily feel like my body couldn't handle it but i was just over it I did not want to do a single other plank or push up or pull up. I just had no motivation. I did not want to do it. So some days it was very helpful that my husband was doing this with me because he was my accountability partner. He would make sure that I was still doing them. We would, you know, keep each other accountable and push each other to finish these every day. A lot of days we did them together to help keep the motivation up. Mentally, it's really a challenge. You want to quit. You want to take three days off. You want to cheat and just say, you know, I'll just do four pull-ups today, whatever, it's enough. So it really is a test of integrity, of honesty, of building habits, of being able to push through and do something when you really don't want to do it. And I love these life lessons in fitness because when I push through in something like this in the gym, it translates to the rest of life. If I can push through when I really don't want to do something in fitness, and that means I can do the same thing in business. I can do the same thing in relationships. I can do the same thing in school or work or whatever it is. So that's something that I really took from the challenging parts of this challenge. Another challenge that I faced was 
how this affected my ability to do some other workouts. I honestly didn't do a lot of chest or back workouts during most of January because I was sore or tired most of the time from doing these repetitive push-ups, pull-ups, and planks. So if I did work out chest or back, it was pretty light. I felt like it was just gonna be too much to do a heavy chest and back workout and do all of the push-ups and pull-ups every day and continue to see progress in those areas. Some days too, it made it a little bit more tiring to do things like swim. And if I was going biking or doing some type of work like, workout like that that can kind of affect my lower back, I found that it could be taxing if I tried to do a really long plank hold and then go bike the next day. So I did kind of have to adapt with that. Some days, maybe those are the days that I skipped the workout so I could be prepared for a more important workout the next day and I just let that be my rest day. Other times, maybe I made sure to do the workout early in the morning so that by the next day, I would pretty much have at least a full 24 hours of recovery as opposed to doing the push-ups, pull-ups, and planks at night, and then trying to do a hard workout in the morning, which just wouldn't work. So again, if you decide to do a challenge like this, I would just consider the other workouts that are important to you and how you can best make those fit. So how did it all turn out? I did get stronger. And typically when it comes to working out, you will hear, or I always tell people, to leave about 48 hours between each workout to give your muscles time to rest. Now, this is far more important with things like weightlifting, where you're truly using heavy weights and really taxing your muscles, but it can still apply to body weight exercises. So normally working out every single day the same muscles and exercises can actually kind of slow your progress. What I was very interested to find was I did get stronger and I got better almost every single day, even though my muscles were tired. Like I said at the beginning, my baseline for these numbers were planks, two minutes, pull-ups, four, and push-ups, 15. At the end of the challenge, I was able to do a three minute and five second plank hold, 10 pull-ups in a row, and I was able to do 30 push-ups without stopping. So pretty amazing. I would honestly say that I did better than I expected to. Physically, I also noticed some changes. Now, I didn't actually take before or after shots, which I probably should have done, but this was just kind of a fun challenge for us to do. But the other day, my husband did note that he saw that my arms were looking a little bit more toned, a little bit more ripped. Um, and I did notice in some video and photos I had taken that I noticed a little bit more definition in my arms. So I wasn't going for that at all. That's why I didn't take any progress photos. But just looking in the mirror and looking at pictures, I have noticed some changes. And though I always have seen and known that the body can do more than we expect, once again, I was reminded that, you know, on those days when I felt like, I don't even think I can do three pull-ups today, those were sometimes the days when I knocked out six or seven in a row and was able to increase my goal. So even on that days when I felt really tired, really incapable of doing these things, sometimes those are my best days. And again, I think that translates to life that sometimes we not, might not feel like we're really capable of doing something, but if we're willing to take the step and make the effort, we can really surprise ourselves sometimes. And there was a simple great reminder for me that the more you work out your muscles, the faster you're gonna see them grow. It's a pretty basic principle, but a lot of people really only work out certain body parts once or maybe twice a week, but there is some science to say that the more you do it, like even every other day or working out certain muscle groups three or four times a week, you're going to see faster progress. And so this is really interesting to see and be reminded that when you're more consistent and you work out muscles multiple times a week, you're going to see much faster progress. If you would like to take on this same challenge, I did post a blog on my website, which I will post in the description down below so you can read that. That basically has all of the ground rules and how to go about doing this challenge. It also provides you some ideas for progressions for someone like if you can't even do a push up yet, where do you start? So it has options for the very beginners up to people who can already do all of these exercises. 
and how to modify and progress as you go. So no matter what level you're at, you can still take part in this challenge. If you do decide to do this challenge, we did it in January, but you can do it anytime. Just pick a month and do the next 30 days. If you decide to do it, take pictures, post them on Instagram, put it in your stories and tag me at Renewal Fit Coach, and I'll put that down below so you don't necessarily have to remember it. Or if you do a YouTube channel, then share the link with me so that I can check out what you did and how you progressed. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and inspiring to give you some new goals to work towards this year. And if you like this video or wanna share it with someone who might enjoy this challenge, please like and share the link and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And until the next video, blessings on renewing your life through your health and fitness journey.